Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old den of tools. And today we got round two of Cyber Monday deals. We're talking about generators. Yeah, we're cooking with gas, gas generators. We did the electrical stuff on uh, Black Friday, but now it's all gas. So let's see what we got. Uh, we're going to jump over to uh, Amazon first. We've got the Power Smart. This thing is a 1,000 running, 1,500 uh, starting, or that's the peak power, if you would. They're saying this is an inverter generator. I kid you not. Uh, right here, they're, they're claiming that this is a uh, inverter gas generator here. And you're looking at a price on this for, what is that, $232. That's not a bad deal. PowerSmart, they're known for making some kind of inexpensive kind of stuff. Uh, but is this the new version of the old, uh, you know, tailgater kind of thing? That But this is now just as portable. It looks kind of like it's the same thing they wrapped in a plastic box through an inverter on for $232. Maybe something to consider. All right, let's step up in price a little bit. We're going to look at $359, but now we're looking at a fully open generator. Remember, you have an open generator. They're going to be the loudest, but you're going to get the most bang for the buck, literally. Uh, then you have an inverter generator where it's going to be run probably a little bit better on the electronics and it's not going to run at full steam unless it needs to. And then you have a fully enclosed inverter generator. That's going to be your super quiet. It's going to be the most quiet without actually building an enclosure and everything for it. Also going to be the most expensive. But anyway, 359 This is a dual fuel system from Westinghouse. I, I think of Westinghouse as a, a kind of a third tier, the power, whatever that last one was, is a, that's a no name kind of as far as we're considered. Uh, but uh, this one is, it's a decent generator. It's not that, that upper league kind of stuff like you see with a Honda or even the second tier like you'd see with... Uh, some of the other ones, but this it's it's a decent generator system here 3600 running watts 4650 peak under gas under propane It's gonna be a little bit less usually like 10% there, but uh, 3240 running 4180 under uh, propane on that. It's a decent uh, Setup here for an open frame kind of generator 359 again That's a lot of power for what you're paying for now. Let's jump over to Walmart. We got the win they're 4750. That's another dual fuel generator here. It's running on propane or gas. You're looking at 4750 running 30 or peak 3800 running. Uh, and it will do, it says it'll do 240 volt. That's pretty awesome there. You're looking at 370, basically 380. Let's call it what it is there. Uh, now it says, yeah, look at it. It has an AC 240 on that. And uh, you're looking at, oh, it comes with the wheel kit. That's nice because, like, we're talking about some of the Harbor Freight stuff. They don't come with the wheel kit. Now let's look over. In fact, speaking of Harbor Freight, they got the Predator 4375. This is a single gas. All right, just got no propane. You got to buy the wheel kit separately. and you, But it does have CO Secure. So if it does get some of the fumes and stuff, it will turn off. Predator, is, they've really made a name for themselves, especially like, you know, when you look at some of the job sites, you look at all the RV parks and stuff, they've really replaced Honda as the go-to. They've really proven themselves long-term kind of stuff. So, you know, that's why they're demanding more money these days. But you're looking at a sale, $100 off, taking it down to 400 now we've got the Duromax. This is another, it's a decent level. I would, I'd probably put it in the Westinghouse kind of level. You're looking at a 4850 gas or propane. Remember, you're still going to lose, no matter what generator it is, you're going to lose a little bit of power when it comes to the, the propane. So just keep that in mind for your needs. You might need to get, might need to buy a bigger generator if that's the case. It's got a seven horsepower motor, 20, 212 cc, probably one of those Harbor Freights in there. I'm, I'm just kidding. Or, or am we? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we, we look at 372, 372 for a 4850 dual fuel. That's a nice option. But what else we got here? Well, how about this? We got the Duro Max Hybrid. You're looking. This is the same company. All right. This is their 5500, and this is a dual fuel also. And you're, but you're jumping up from what were we at? We're at 372. You're jumping up like uh, over a hundred dollars now to get up to this 5500. But uh, and you're running a 7.5 engine on that one. Uh, but you look at it, you've got uh, you got decent. Uh, you got a couple outputs. It does look like it's uh, it's linkable. Uh, let's see what else we can do. That's something else you want to consider. You know, you might want to, instead of buying one large generator, you might want to buy two small generators and get a link. Uh, a, it makes it easier for them to move around. B, if one dies, you still have a second one going. Um, but anyway, let me come over here. I want to see if I can take a look at this. I'm trying to zoom in on there, the electrical panel right there. Uh, it does do 240 at 30 amps. That's pretty nice there. 
Uh, it's got the voltmeter built in, 489. Let's see who else we got here. We got another Westinghouse here. Now, this one is a single fuel, 6,600 running watts here with the 30 amp RV ready. This is, again, a nice, a nice just all-in-one kind of system here. But again, we're not talking inverter generators. We're not talking inverters enclosed. 529, that's why you're seeing that much power for that much price. Case in point, here's the win, 3,800. We're dropping down in power considerably, but this is a fully enclosed inverter generator. 529 is the price, not lowest price in 30 days, lowest price in a while. This is your quintessential RVing kind of generator. Uh, and the reason I say that is because it's super closed. It's quiet. It's not going to ruin your fun. It's not going to ruin anybody else's fun. $529. Now we're going to, and the, and the 3,800, that's right in that space where we talk about when it comes to like being able to run an AC unit and stuff like that. Now, and only one though, you're not going to run dual ACs on that, but you should be able to run most, even a 1,500, uh, uh, AC on that. We have a 13.5 on our unit. Uh, we have a, a, a 36 foot uh, travel trailer and we can even run it off of a Blue Eddy. So there, there's some, uh, it doesn't take a ton, but it takes, you know, a minimum of about, oh, I think about 2,500 on there. Uh, Champion power equipment. Now this is an inverter generator, but open frame. So you, this is the mid-level of quiet. It's going to run a little bit quieter than a completely open frame, but it's not going to be that kind of whisper quiet. You're looking at 4250 on this. It's a single fuel, 3500 running watts on it. $539. Champion is definitely one of those level two generators. I put them on par with the Harbor Freight kind of stuff, but a, a step above the Westinghouse and all the other ones. This is another third tier here, the Sportsman. 3,500 watt dual fuel inverter generator. And I'm including this because I know a lot of people like the Sportsman line. It's really popular amongst a lot of the viewers. Uh, you're looking at 550. We're over at Walmart on this. Of course, we'll put links to everything down below. Also, remember, you talk about you want to check out and make sure it's got that parallel output if you want to consider, you know, maybe you buy in at this level and you upgrade. Maybe, you know, that's something to consider. Like maybe I want more down the road. That's a way, a way you can do it. Now, uh, we got here Max Bean Rods. We've worked with these guys before. They've sent, in fact, they sent me this generator right now. I sent it off on a, on a trip with a friend of ours. He used it for a bit. It ran okay. Put a little too much oil in it. Got a little smoke out of it. But other than that, ran great. Uh, you know, that's one thing you got to watch out is don't put too much oil in these things because they're, they're, I know it can be hard to measure and stuff. Just make sure you're accurate when you do that. But anyway, what I like about this is, again, we're looking at that 3,500 watt level. This is a fully enclosed, super quiet generator, but it's smaller and it's got a form factor that's more akin to your standard old school kind of generators, which makes it easier to stow in a lot of places. I mean, that, that one we showed you, like this one, that's, they're kind of the cube. For some reason, these 3,500s, they really like to do this kind of cube shape, which is nice. You get a lot of power and everything like that, but it can be cumbersome to pick up, cumbersome to move, and harder to store because you don't always have space where that'll fit, whereas this will slide into a lot more spaces. 559 560 on that one. Here we got another Westinghouse, another dual fuel, but now we're jumping up to 9,500 running watts. That's going to run most small houses and such, stuff like that. So this is, we're surely getting to like kind of a prepping kind of scenario. But again, open frame, all your neighbors and everyone driving by, they're going to know you're running a generator because this sucker is going to be loud. Uh, $759 on that one. Now let's see what we got from Harbor Freight. This is the old 9,000. We used to have this one and we traded it in for the Harbor Freight fully enclosed one. We're going to talk about that one later. This is $769. That's a real throwback kind of price on that, down from $900. This is a beast of a generator. It's solid. It's reliable. It's just kind of loud. It has the electric start. That's a nice feature. And, of course, it's got the CO uh, secure, so you don't have to worry about fumes and such. All right. Predator 3500. This is the, the Harbor Freight RV generator, the classic one. 3500. I've got my friends I told you about before. They're now traveling with this one. They're down in uh, in Arizona. We'll have to get some feedback from them and see what they think about it so far. But they've had it for a while. So far, no complaints and good, no news is good news often. So 3500 watts, super quiet, inverter generator, CO secure. You get the fully enclosed thing, super quiet. I've heard this thing run. It is ridiculously quiet. You often kind of wonder like, Huh, is it still running? Well, I still have power, so it must be good. On sale, this has creeped up to almost $1,000. There's a reason why, folks, because it's that popular, because it's that reliable. $779 on that one. Now let's check out Pulsar. This is, I would say, below a third tier. This is one kind of one of those in that sea of no names, people just throwing stuff out there. Dual fuel, 12 
100 watts. That's why we're including it. That's a lot of power. But look at this. When you look at the reviews on it, it's got what we call the old fish hook. Then why do you call it fish hook? Well, here's the, the shaft of the hook, comes down into the loop, and then comes back to bite you on the end. That's a, a lot of seven, was it seven one stars? A lot more than, than two stars or three stars. You want to see a nice slope going down to hopefully none. But that makes you kind of wonder that maybe it's bad quality control, maybe something else. Look into it first, but at 1200 if you're on a tight budget and you need that much power, $800, that's that's hard to beat. All right, let's see what else we can do. How about the Duromax, all right? This is a good quality third tier kind of system that we talked about before. Uh, we've showed two of these so far. This is running an 18 horsepower engine on it. You're looking at, again, 1200 watt gas or propane. You're gonna lose some with the propane, okay? Just remember that you're looking at 1200 gas, 11400 propane, 9500 running gas, 90 was it 9025 on propane you look at 803 dollars though 803 i mean uh 794 803 i probably go with the duromax they're not that much more of an established company but they are a more established company i'd probably go with that uh i don't know what do you think have you run the pulsar do you have a pulsar what do you think about it if we look at the the ratings on this one no fish hook really visible there all right, now let's see what else we got. We got another Westinghouse. We're jumping up in size. The 1250 on this. This is 1250, 9500 versus 11200, 8500 for propane on this. That's a that's a lot of power for $850. But again, these are both of these. These are open frame. They're going to be noisy. And we got another open frame here, Champion Portable. We look at 9375, 7500. A little bit less power. It's got the remote start though. And you know, let me tell you what. On cold days and stuff like that, that remote start, it, it's a tempting feature to get for $873. That's a decent amount of power, and that remote start is something to consider there. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is nice. We got up here from Vegas. Vegas was in the 50s and such. Last night, it was in the teens, and we got snow. We had uh, two or three inches last night, closed down the highways, all sorts of fun. Here's Champion's fully enclosed uh, in, in, inverter generator. Now, this is jumping up. Most of the other ones we saw were in the mid threes. This is a 4,500 watt dual fuel. So this is going to run uh, a camper. This is going to probably run a fifth wheel. You'll probably be able to run uh, two smaller uh, uh, ACs on it. If you get soft, soft starter on your ACs, you could probably run two mid to larger ACs on it. $989. All of that in a super quiet in a dual fuel, that's a good package right there for under a thousand dollars. All right, let's talk about AI Volt. Now, this is a newer company. I've only seen a few of their their stuff. They only have three ratings. Really, I want to know: Do you know much about this company? Have you seen it? I like the setup. I like the design. I really love the whole luggage style uh, handle in there with the wheels on the back. That's one of those designs where I don't know why every manufacturer isn't making these. 8,000 watt dual fuel portable inverter, uh, inverter generator, fully enclosed, whisper quiet. Look at this. You got 8,000 starting, 6,100 on gas, 7,200 starting, 5,500 running on propane. That a lot of features to like on this thing, other than the fact that it's kind of a no name company there. But and the price at 13,050, that's a lot of money to invest on something with only three, uh, <laughs> three ratings on it. Let me know what you think about this company if you know anything about them. Now, here's another company, Genmax. Uh, they've been around for a little while. They're, I would say they're like up there with max speed rods, AI volt, stuff like that. But you're looking at a 9,000 super quiet gas-powered inverter generator. I'm including this because it looks really familiar to another inverter generator that we see, and that's the Predator, okay? And, and this is the Predator. That's the one that we have. We'll talk more about it in just a second. 9,000 watts, super quiet, parallel capable, CO alarm, Great for home backup. Portable, not so much. I mean, it's movable, but it's not the kind of thing you want to be moving a lot unless maybe you've got a toy hauler. You can take it up on a ramp because trust me, I've lifted ours up and out of a truck and it is, uh, it, it's a two-person job at the very least. At least it's got nice grab handles on the top. I do appreciate them them doing that. But this, it's a nice setup. It looks good, but for that money, I don't know because I can get the Harbor Freight here for just under two grand. And let me tell you, this thing is an absolute beast that's whisper quiet for it, for the size and everything else. Uh, it'd be hard for me to recommend anything else on that. Of course, that's what I have. And we bought it ourselves. Yeah, Harbor Freight sent us a lot of stuff in the past. They did not send us this. This was one we did ourselves. And I got to tell you, we really like it. All right. And uh, let's talk about some real power, though. We talked about some big stuff. 
But look at this, 15,000 dual fuel. That is a big beast of a generator. You gotta have a real specific need to be running this thing. But if you do, here it is, and it's on sale, 27% off. You're saving over $800 on this deal, all right? This is the lowest price that I've seen on it yet. Uh, it leave, well, okay, I should say the lowest price I've seen out this year by quite a bit. It's been running at the $3,000 mark pretty consistently. So that's not a lie when they talk about the list price on that. You're looking at $239, $240, on that. That is, uh, <laughs> that's a whole lot of gender. And I can include the last one here for you because somebody's like, what about Hondas? Well, there you go. There's your Honda 7000, fully enclosed, super quiet. And you're looking at five grand. Five grand. This is, which is why we don't talk about Honda a lot because a lot of these other companies have come come up. They're really battling it out there, and they're really putting out great stuff at a lot less money. The Honda's fantastic, but I don't think it's five thousand dollars fantastic. What do you think? Let me know. Is there something here that you liked? Is there something here that on Cyber Monday is going to make you pull the trigger on this? Anyway, let me know down below. You all take care. God bless, and as always, shine on.